What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Sorry, you know not have zipper in the corner like that. People be driving recklessly. I don't know if I drive like a grandma or people drive recklessly. Anyway, happy t if you are new here, welcome. Um, I do really appreciate you if you've been here before. Welcome back. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get into it. The first stop I have for today is I'm going to get my oil changed because i really been out here riding dirty. My oil life said like 5% like two weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm going to get my oil changed then. Probably get my car washed and I'm going to be doing some Instacart orders today. So, I'm going to be bringing you along with that. Briefly though, because Instacart, y'all have to focus. Like, you got to move fast, read fast. You know how time to be vlogging. But I'm trying to get a little bit in for y'all. While I'm on my way to get my oil changed, let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. Both of the Kennedy and um, Madison things one and two I had to go to both of their schools yesterday so first Madison called me Madison never like tells on stuff at school she don't tell on teachers she don't tell on students she just be in her she really don't when I say don't care about nothing y'all she be like I don't know whatever um but anyway she called me mama this teacher yanked my backpack and she yanked my arm and then I just heard yanked I'm on my way <laughs> I'm on my way, we're even talking on the phone. Tell, tell them I'm coming. Matter of fact, I'll call them. Hey, I, I, I'm on my way up there. So, I'm going, I'm on the phone with Riley's grandmother, uh, on her, her dad's mom. I'm on the phone with her and she goes, you know, she she did talk me down because I wasn't gonna go up, I'm up in there and act a fool. It's just, you know, I just wanted to find like, who had the audacity? That's what I wanted to know. To be grabbing on people's children, not, you know, don't do that anyway so i go up there i ask what happened madison goes i didn't have my id on they're supposed to have them on at all times because that is how we identify teenagers okay um but anyway madison didn't have it on and so the lady i guess was telling madison in between them changing classes hey put your id on <laughs> madison just was like okay yeah i'm about to put it on so she was trying to let one of her friends get it out of her backpack so that they could keep walking because they had like two minutes to get to class or something. So apparently, according to the teacher, Madison said, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. That's how the teacher viewed the situation. Madison was like, no, my mom only had two minutes to get to class. I was trying to go because I don't want, that's a whole nother thing that to deal with because they called me when you ain't in all the classes. <laughs> So she was just like, you know, dealing with that. She said the lady grabbed her by her backpack, then yanked her by her arm. And so when I got up there, the teacher, um, no, I got to talk to the principal because I couldn't talk to the teacher. The principal, me and he, Madison gave me and him the script, story, and then whatever he says, I'll call you. I was waiting. If he didn't call me yesterday or if she didn't call me last night, I was going to be back in the office today. She calls and goes, well, I may, um, I may have tapped her, you know. I was like, what do you mean you may have tapped her? Because it was so loud in the hallway. Madison was like, no, you yanked my arm. And the lady said, yes, and you told me to get off you. I said, as she should, because get, get your hands off of her. Why are you grabbing her whole arm and stuff? Y'all be doing too much over these IDs. I, I'm telling the lady, we, y'all have to, y'all are dealing with teens. Like, I, I'm not a teacher. I can't work at a school full of teens. I can just, you know, work on the few teens that I have in my life for right now. Like, just, I'm not saying give them a break because I got on Madison ass. I told her, you wouldn't even have to have these encounters had you had your damn ID on. You walk around like you cool, one of the cool kids that don't have to wear your damn ID. Put it on so you don't even have to have these encounters with these people. So I don't have to be up here going off on them. But anyway, the lady apologized. She said, I'm so glad to have a parent, a parent like you that's talk, willing to talk and let's get clarity. I said, yeah, just because she has to be there at that school. I appreciate teachers. I, I do appreciate what they do. Our kids are there all day long. However, ma'am, don't be grabbing on her like that, okay? Because <laughs> I can still appreciate you know what you're doing and still say hey no not that no, no thank you but that, okay so that was at madison school fast forward get to the end of the day and it's time to pick kennedy up so me i park at this church and then kennedy and riley they walk now because i was not about to play with the 
the long pickup lines. So I'm sitting there. I see everybody else's kid coming around the corner. I see parents leaving. I see cars leaving. The parking lot's getting empty. I turn around. I see Sonya kind of parked against the fence. And I was like, uh, uh, what's going on? So I called Sonya's phone. Riley answered. I was like, Riley, where are you and Kennedy at? Because that's what I'm waiting on. Um, Kennedy's getting in trouble. She's right around the corner. And uh, I'm it's sitting in Sonya's car. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it gotta be some, you know, see, it's the end of the day. They standing on the side of the road because where the school and the church is like, it's passing a main road. So I get back in my car, whip around the corner to see Kennedy along with another student, the student's mom, Sonya, and then the coach, the athletics coach standing out there. Kennedy and the little girl are crying. I said, Oh, this is serious. Something, something. It gotta be, because it's the end of the day. <laughs> School is over, and we doing this. Come to find out, Kennedy and the little girl and a group of her friends, they wanted to join the pep squad. And they were trying to get pep squad papers before they sat down for dismissal for the day. The lady, the coach or teacher, somebody said, nope, y'all not getting a pep squad for him. Sit down. They was like, but ma'am, it's the last day. I don't care. Sit down. <laughs> uh, do what y'all supposed to be doing. So Kennedy said they had to do that. You know, obviously they they sat down. And oh, I'm sorry, y'all can't really drive. So I pull up, get out the car, I'm like, hey, what's what's going on? What's the real issue? Because it has to be serious. Because we standing on the side of the road. Um. The lady goes, well, I guess there's a group of girls that come into the gym and they take longer than others to sit down. We were all waiting on them to sit down so we could leave. The other little girl and Kennedy, tears fully on their face. We were trying to sit down. There was no room. You had room. And so I just got quiet. I'm listening to the girls, listening to the coach interact with them. The girls are just making a big deal of it done already not really i'm kind of on schedule but anyway focus so kennedy goes y'all were yelling at us five teachers yelling at two students saying that we should be ashamed of ourselves everybody's waiting on you you know it's the end of the day teachers tired they probably like hey sit your ass down we don't care about the pep squad but what we won't do is yell at them in front of everybody tell them they should be ashamed of themselves and all that no because no the fuck they shouldn't they're sixth graders they're they're right on schedule okay that's what I'll be trying to explain to the teachers. Anyway, so I told the lady that the principal walks up and the coach goes, no, we have everything figured out. Everything's fine. We know the solution. The solution is they're going to come in here and sit down and do what they're supposed to do. I said, yes, ma'am, that's what. That's not the solution. Though. That's what we're going to do because I'm going to tell Kennedy, you come in, you sit down, you know what I mean? Because you, you can't express yourself and explain, hey, I'm just... I would like to get a pep squad form. Can I do that before I sit down? You know that you don't have that option at that school. Go in and sit down and do what you need to do. I said, but what we are going to address is why this couldn't wait till the next day. This is not that big of a deal for y'all to have our kids standing on the side of the road. I mean, cars, buses, drunk with too many theatrics for this. The, then the athletic coach, I have high expectations for them. They're leaders. I want them to be successful. They will be. But they standing here crying with a face full of tears. We need to figure out what that's about. We're not just going to brush over that. Tell them their feelings are valid. They're making a big deal out of nothing. Well, y'all clearly pissed them off. So y'all, Kennedy said, Mama, I don't understand what teachers and adults want us to do. You want me to let them yell in my face? I know they're doing wrong. She said, yes, we were supposed to sit down. She acknowledged that <laughs> we were supposed to sit down. I'm thinking, like, why don't you sit your ass down? But she was like... Am I supposed to stand there with a smile on my face while I'm getting teachers yelling at me? Like, they tell us not to roll our eyes at them, but they roll their eyes at us. They tell us not to do this, but they turn around and do that to us. These are human beings, guys. I, I know, I know, but you got into a profession to be a teacher, okay? Which means you know you're going to be dealing with a lot of these things. It's our job as parents to make sure, like I told Kennedy, Get your ass in there and do what you are supposed to do so you don't have to have these kind of encounters. Because you know I come up here and go there, you know. But anyway, those are my story times. That's what happened yesterday. Yeah, I am dead wrong. 
for two reasons. One, I was supposed to bring y'all <clears throat> on my Instacart orders. I really be tunnel vision with that. Like, there's no way that I can record. So, I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to have got the baby's kids in the car. Oh, my God. I'm looking mess. <laughs> y'all say hi, Madison. Say hi to What's my up? people. Don't yeah. be looking like hey. that. Hey, y'all. Hello. I'm going to suggest the YouTube video idea. We're not even on ours. This is one for y'all, though. Y'all's is going to start in the store. Got the munchkins. We headed to the stop. Yeah, I done did two orders and still haven't showed y'all. But my last order is going to be at HEB. I'm going to grocery shop for the people and for myself. Because I have to get shrimp for my shrimp tacos and then stuff for their YouTube video. They clearly worked very hard today. Stop playing with them. Maddie never goes to sleep in the car. She just be up with them headphones on. But this one right here, what y'all did to my baby at school today? Because she been out since she got in the car. But we are headed to H-E-B. I'm really starting to like H-E-B, y'all. Have the fruit. Have, I'm starting to like have the fruit. Just the presentation, the production, all of the above. I think I'm going to be an H-E-B shopper. Anywho, there you go. Dramatic. Oh, you didn't get all that time. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you be saying I got an attitude with everybody. Bring them. Let me tell y'all some of my words. She will have the freezing. In the clip? Uh-uh, Maddie. Yeah, I need y'all to cross the street. Okay, bringing them on an Instacart order. This will be the first time I brought everybody. Kennedy has done it with me individually. Riley has. Maddie, I don't even have to say that. Y'all already know that. Yeah, we made a good team, so. I still gave me Starbucks. I'm going to be, uh, yeah, I still owe Kennedy Starbucks from working her. We're going to be shopping um, here. Press this one for our stuff. And I'm going to use this one for my Instacart. Taco Tuesday. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to try to do that. Today, we're going to be shopping for our stuff. Probably on TikTok one night while I was up scrolling because I have been adulting and things. <laughs> but anyway, um, I so I have I'm just making ruffalo tacos. I did Kennedy, where that pico? It's a small little um, can of pico. Did you just buy so you need shrimp for some tacos. Pico, what is pico? I was walking through the aisles mm -hmm. hungry, so I picked up some of these jalapeno bacon wrap cream cheese poppers. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm about to cut my shrimp up. I put my shrimp back in the bowl. I cut them up because I like little fine pieces of shrimp, not whole shrimp. Um, for the shrimp tacos, I'm gonna use some onion powder. Season to your liking. Do you want some gloves? Can I mix it with the gloves? No, I'm gonna just mix it with a spoon, baby. Onion powder, it was a lot of onion powder, y'all. That's all, y'all know, that's all we use. Onion powder, garlic powder, um, some paprika. I, have, I should have more paprika in there, Kennedy. So this, yeah, ain't nothing coming out of here. Or this old baby. Um, some Cajun seasoning that I got from some store. It's just an all-purpose Cajun seasoning since I don't have no old bay. Sprinkle them up. Found it. What's it? Paprika. Paprika, because I never know why. I just know paprika. Make everything taste good. Yeah, this one is. Auntie Fee said. Yeah. Uh, Oh no, I'll do that in a minute. Can you put the bell peppers in the oven? Please, that's insane. Okay, y'all, my stove, I'm really scared. There's a hunk of metal because I burnt up a pot when we were sick. I was trying to boil some potatoes because my appetite was coming back when my strength wasn't. And clearly, I lost my mind because I almost burned up the whole, house. The whole pot of potatoes just burned up. So. Yeah, y'all. This looks the shape of this. Don't even worry about that, cause why? Of our, I don't want to talk about it. Anymore. It looks like a foot. Mm. A foot, it does. Anyway, this is part of the metal that melted down into the little bowl area. See, I told you it melted to down bottom. from the, it did, and it turned into whatever it is. A foot. 
Listen, okay, everyone, y'all have a little score time. We was in music class, right? And I like popped up, like, you know how you get like real close behind somebody and say, like, boo or something? I did that. She screamed, what the age? Oh, did, um, I can't say her name. I was a music teacher? No, it was um, a student. I love music. Oh. my choir teacher. So I was a choir teacher, not a music teacher. I'm gonna put some of this taco seasoning. Same thing in here now. Excuse me, Mother. Just a little bit, cause I'm winging it. <laughs> That's why. <what I>, There's <laughs> no real reason why I just took the taco seasoning. Peel peppers are in the oven. You put the peppers in the oven. Did you spray or oil the bottom of that pan? Are they gonna stick? Hell no. Okay, I got my shrimp seasoning. This is really good. Oh, you gotta get some more of that. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Mm. 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 Not at all. You got me not. You've all been there. Excuse me. Are y'all there fishing on the other right hand right now? So I'm trying up the salsa and just my pizza. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm trying to do. We might learn something new and we might make this again. It might be busted. It might be busted. It might be busted. Let me tell y'all yeah, something. No, all my kids. kids. I'm just Okay, the shrimp is going in. But y'all can keep y'all can keep talking. All my kids. I'm gonna reach out to y'all. So y'all ever know like when mama say I bought chips and you're expecting just some Lay's, some chill. Then you come home with baked with baked Cheetos and baked Lay's. <laughs> so, this baby should be hidden. Okay, Co comment down below if you would like. You just sometimes wanna. Right, I do let y'all indulge sometimes. Yeah, oh, and okay. girl, we just got a whole lot of unhealthy Mexicans. Right. Oh, oh yeah, stay tuned for our new YouTube video, MK Star. It's gonna be posted probably. Like later this week. Yeah, we're gonna record it tomorrow. I'm not, I just don't want y'all eating a bunch of candy tonight. Haha, <laughs> because I wanna do the shrimpies. If y'all wanna imagine it, because tomorrow's the last day of school right now, so. Candy wanted to do the candy anyway. Madison feel like she's gonna throw candy in the car. Like, God, oh. dang, man, you out. Like, you're the girl, stop me, girl. Okay, I don't know how this salsa in place of my pico combination is gonna come out, but. It's looking like something, you know. Okay, you don't know we left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have my white corn tortillas. I've never made shrimp, the shrimp tacos like this. Not even gonna lie, I normally just get some regular crunchy shells and do it like that. But I'm gonna try something today. That means you have to be like spicy. Thank you. Uh, you know that I was. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add a little cheese first. Then the shrimp, then fold it up and try to cook it. Dad used to get the fluffy ones and you would put them on the side. Baby, stove. don't dad me what dad did for me. I <laughs> got it. He used to get the I know y'all miss some cooking, I didn't say it. Nah, Ace really said he can't drop off a pack. Bro, fried Oreos. Uh, okay, put a few shrimp. Can you come oh. see if you can put the camera? Add a little more cheese. Ready? A little more cheese. Y'all look at it, it's coming together. Then I'm gonna fold it right, make it like a little, a taco. She's like somebody on TV. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> Is it working? Um, yeah. All right, it's looking like something. I'm gonna have to flip these over in a minute or something. Not sure now. Okay, right. Yeah, here, Ooh, my mom's gonna make me some, uh, some. They doing something and stuff. I'm just up like Don't mind that other counter. All my kids in uh, a lunchbox have out there. Just imagine a shrimp taco. Out of your lunchbox. They don't have no microwave for y'all. It's giving. I'm gonna try one of these. Uh-uh, leave that. I'm gonna try the shrimp, y'all. She came right up here. Get one. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we trying to <laughs> And she got one to share hidden. She did, you already know that. <clears throat> she doing me dirty. Get it, it got a little kick. <clears throat> it really don't. 
Compared to her crawfish, y'all. If y'all try her crawfish, I ain't so good. Mm. Okay. Like, hey, where y'all at? Uh, she looking nice. Let me put them back on the fire. We're gonna get back consistent with y'all. And we got My our mama meat. say I'm about to get back consistent with y'all. <laughs> If she buying the freezer section. She doesn't <laughs> know you're never lying. No, 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 don't do these. But they are really, really hot. Woo! Don't do that, mother. They look like they could be at least from the, the taco truck down the street. The taco truck. Okay, okay. Look like taco. Damn! It's hot! Hot! Okay. Okay. I just thought to see the cheesy goodness. Oh, I don't know. And this shrimp is good. And this shrimp is goodness. Michelle didn't do exactly what I wanted to do. Good job, Michelle. 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 Good I was probably going to start with you. Is that good? Yeah. Mm. It's hot. Oh, but it's good. Squirky, squirky. I did a little bit of that. Andy Shell's still punchy. Mmm. Right. Ah. One more time. Hey, that's really giving. Look at the smoke. Look at the smoke. It's you would, giving. You would eat that for dinner. It's don't giving. Even you would eat that for dinner. I'm about to fry up the rest of these tacos with the rest of my little meat. And we about to eat it and I'm really tired. <laughs> Girl, you know what Alright y'all, that's the end of our YouTube video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell so y'all get notified every time me and my family post a new YouTube video. Peace. Love y'all.